Hey guys, what's up? Check this out. Just got the um, Fly Sky FS GT5 for uh, a couple cars I'm putting together. Uh, a couple Serpents and a Mugen. Yeah, I wanted to upgrade to 2.4 gigahertz from the older style. I got these cars like on an eBay uh, auction. And <clears throat> actually, I wanted to, like I said, upgrade the newer technology. And I saw this online. I looked at a couple different different setups. You know, Spectrum and Futaba. Um, but this seemed like it came with the most. And price wasn't that very important, you know? Um, but I just like the features this thing came with. The, well, obviously the price, too, but... Um, it looked pretty good. Came with an extra handle. Um, the wheel. Let's see here. Yeah, I, I like the... One thing I didn't like about the Futaba is how far the bottom came out. Um... But uh, one of the actually one of the main reasons was getting affordable receivers. Like I said, I have three cars, and they actually have a built-in gyroscope, which is pretty incredible for the price. So that's interesting. I thought that's that's a permanent. That's that's not part of the LCD. It's a permanent. It's permanently on there. I think it was like a 99 bucks or less than a camera. It wasn't very expensive. I'll put a link where you can get it. Um, extra back strap. But yeah, look at the size of these receivers. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, how much the stuff has changed since the last time I had played with it. And the last time I was on the RC stuff was probably 30 years ago. Uh, late 80s, 90s. Or 80s and 90s. But, uh, yeah, it's incredible. Six channels, look how small it is. And it built on gyroscope. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, like I said, the last time I was in RC stuff when I was a kid, before I was building real cars, uh, you know, anywhere from like eight years old to like fifteen years old. All right, um, cool. Get going. Yeah, I already put replaced the servos in this one, the Mugen, with all steel, like steel gear here. All, you know, all uh, hundred percent stainless. All right, and. All right, then I made the uh, boxes too. Those custom boxes for the uh, the Mugens here. I mean, not the Mugens, but the uh, Serpents. All right, cool. I'll get it going and we'll uh, fire it up and test it out. I have my four lithium AA rechargeable batteries in there. Let's see what's up. All right, binding was really, really simple. Add the bind plug, put the power into channel one, hold the bind key, turn the power on, and uh, get this going on the video here. I gotta reverse the servos on both of them. Even the throttles backwards. Yeah. Alright. Alright, this is pretty cool. I'm bound to all three of my cars here. Power's on. They make you they want you to turn the receiver off first before you switch cars. Turn this one on. Go back. Serpent one. Cool. And then go back to Serpent 2. So yeah, I think I'll stop to it, but... Cool! Awesome remote! Can't wait to try, try out the uh, gyro function of this thing. And then uh, I gotta reverse a couple of servos, but... Yeah, ABS too, huh. Anti-lock braking system, I'm assuming. Crawl, trim, okay. All right, not bad for hundred bucks. I mean, just the receivers alone are only twenty dollars each. So with gyroscope, it's pretty crazy. So, all right, awesome guys. So uh, put a link down below. We can get it. But uh, all right, cool.